In March, my mom and I headed to Lake Tahoe for the first time. With it being towards the end of winter and the beginning of spring, we didn't know what to expect. Join us as we explore this beautiful lake and discover what Tahoe has to offer. Whether you're staying in Inkind Village, South Lake Tahoe, or any other place around the largest alpine lake in North America, flying into the appropriately named Reno Tahoe Airport will likely be your best option. So we did just that. Mom won a couple of dollars on her first try, so we cashed out and made our way to our hotel in South Lake Tahoe. It was a little over an hour away, but we had one important stop to make on the way. In and Out Burger is a California favorite and can now be found in a few different western states. They serve fresh ground chuck, quality ingredients, and it's a great option when you're on a budget. After we enjoyed our lunch, we made our way to our hotel. We just got to our hotel in South Lake Tahoe and when I checked in they offered me a family room upgrade basically. So we went ahead and took it and I am so excited. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay so upon entry you see that we have this nice spacious family room with an extra TV. It's even got another patio there but then you walk this way. The bathroom here. The bedroom. There is only one of these rooms in the entire hotel, so they don't market it. But we did have to downgrade our view because we would have been on a higher floor, but we are totally okay with it because we are here for six nights. So we're really looking forward to enjoying the extra space. We just took a quick little nap to try to recuperate from our super early morning. Now we're trying to get a closer view of the lake. It's snow. Got to duck a little. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We have our yak tracks, but we didn't bring them out. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go down here due to the pile of snow, but it's still like a little nice view. There wasn't that much time left in the day, so we headed to the store to pick up a couple little groceries before heading back to the hotel for the night. Since this is a Tahoe vlog, I'm going to be showing you some of the places that we ate at. But I want to be honest with you and let you know that we didn't enjoy a lot of the restaurants that we tried. But since everyone has their own taste buds, staff changes day to day, and experiences will be different for everyone, I don't want to express my negative feelings unless I think it's helpful for your trip planning. We did find some places that we loved and I will be sure to share those with you when they come up. So that being said, after we had breakfast, we headed to Emerald Bay to explore a little bit of this beautiful state park. So that road is not for the faint of heart. It was beautiful, but it does give you some vertigo slash height fear if you have problems with that. We didn't go past Emerald Bay State Park parking lot, so I don't know if it gets worse or better after that, but just be aware of that if you do have a fear of that sort of thing. hoping to do some hiking but we knew with the month we visited in it could be difficult. A lot of trailhead parking lots were closed and trails had a combination of several inches of snow and parts with nothing. So there wasn't enough snow to snowshoe but there was enough to complicate things a bit. We strapped on our yak tracks just in case and we attempted to do the Viking Home Trail.
We did part of the Vikings home trail and got to see some different viewpoints. It was super beautiful. We're not gonna do the whole thing, but like, look at this view. And now we're going to go find some other areas to explore. It was close to lunchtime, so we headed back down the mountain. We made a quick stop at the Camp Richardson General Store for some souvenirs before heading to the Beacon Barn Grill that was located behind it, just down the road. We enjoyed our lunch and afterwards we headed to the shops at Heavenly Village to check it out. The shops at Heavenly Village is pretty much a hub for everything. There's souvenirs, gear shops, suites, restaurants, activities, rentals, and so much more. This is also where you can get on the Heavenly Gondola for a scenic sightseeing ride. But per the website, the current rate is about $81 to $89 depending on peak season. We decided to skip the gondola ride this trip, but if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the Ski Heavenly website for details. After we explored the shops at Heavenly Village, we made a quick stop at the grocery store before heading back to the hotel to enjoy our favorite part, a two-tiered hot tub. After a nice warm soak in the hot tub, we bundled back up and walked down to El Dorado Beach to catch the sunset. Tahoe has been absolutely beautiful so far and right now it's dinner time so we are going to try to go find some pizza and maybe go bowling because our hotel has a bowling area right behind it and we get a discount. Sounds like fun. After a delicious breakfast, we drove around 30 minutes north to Sand Harbor State Park. It's located on the Nevada side, costs $15 per car for out-of-state visitors, and we had an amazing time here. It was literally one of our favorite days, and I made the heartbreaking mistake of deleting all of the 4K footage I captured here. I'll share with you what I took on my phone and some photos because this place is amazing and definitely worth sharing.
On our way back to South Lake Tahoe, we saw the most amazing view on the side of the road, so we hopped out and took some photos. When we were back in South Lake Tahoe, we made our way to the shops at Heavenly Village to find food. We decided to go to California Burger Co. for lunch. We told our waitress how we were struggling to find really good food in the area and she gave us tons of recommendations, so shout out to her. We also found that California Burger Co. happened to be our favorite restaurant in Tahoe. You have to try the Sidewinder fries if you go. After we got some expensive gas, we made our way back to our hotel. I brought home some souvenirs from the beach. Let me show you. Just like piles of sand in each shoe. We ended the night by watching the sunset on the beach again.